My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will see how we can attach a file to an Outlook mail and send it. We will see how we can attach files to an Outlook mail and send it. And finally we will see how we can attach multiple files to multiple Outlook mails. So let's get started. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. So we got uh, some files here in the folder, just, just random uh, uh, files I just created. And uh, what we will do is that we will go to UiPath here. And we will first uh, create a sequence. We will call that maybe, uh, we can call it Outlook Attach Example or whatever. You can call it yours, whatever you want. And then we will create some variables. So we first we create a variable that will be the variable where, which contains the folder path here. So um, mark this again. So str folder path, you can call it whatever you want, that's a string. And then we get, need to get the folder path. So just right click on any of the files, properties, and then this location. Copy this location and paste it in here in the default in, to make quotation marks and then paste it in. Now we got the um, folder path. Then we need to create an array. Uh, that'll be ARR. We can call it files. That's where our file names will be stored in. And the variable type, that will be an array of strings. So scroll down to array of T and uh, choose strings here in this uh, drop down, and it will just be empty. We could also create one more variable that will be our uh, mail name. So we both use it for the account here and where we choose to send to because we will just send mails to ourselves today. So let's create one more variable. So that will be the str of mail name or mail account, whatever you want. And that one will just be rpa test glowhunters.dk. Uh, yours is of course something else, unless you are me. That will be uh, kind of creepy. So uh, now we created our three variables, so we can close this one down. First, we just need to send an, uh, an email with uh, one of these documents, say that we want uh, the text document, this one here. So um, let's uh, find a send Outlook mail message here. First, we need to specify a to, and let me open the variables. And we, uh, we actually specified uh, this variable here, so that will just be the variable of str mail name. You could, of course, also just write it directly in into quotation marks here, like this, but we uh, created a variable because we thought we were smart. Then we will um, create a subject and we can just call it your attached file, like this, quotation marks, and then the body will be uh, maybe auto generated mail message, whatever. You can type in whatever you want. Then we will attach a file here. And um, so we will attach, uh, so we will just create an argument. And what, what you have to do is just uh, to type in the path of the, the file. So we can either uh, use this str folder path and then just add whatever uh, comes after, like the exact folder name. I think the easiest thing, if you just need to send one specific mail, is to go to the mail, uh, to the file, then shift right click. Um, copy as path and then just paste it in here in quotation marks. Sorry, we'll just paste it in and UiPath will make quotation marks for you. So click OK. And now this one will um, send an mail with, uh, to this address here with a subject and a body and a file attached. We could also change a lot of things here. We could specify the account where we um, send from and I think we could do that because if we got more I only got one mail account on this computer however if we got more mail accounts then we could specify it so this one will be str mail name because that was the account we can specify who we want to bcc ccc to and so on so um, let's try to send this and see uh, if we can send an attachment so run the file and we will uh, run it now let's go to out you can see how fast that was and we can see that we send in an email now with a, with, a, with a subject here and the body here and the uh, attachment here. So that worked. Now we want to get a little bit more advanced. So we want to um, send, um, we can send 
two mail two, two attachments maybe say that we just want to send uh, maybe this excel worksheet here so then we just shift right click then uh, copy as path and then we go into attach files and we just create an argument an argument more and paste that location in so like this and then click ok and try to send this this one will send uh, and ma a mail with two attachments now we ran and we can see here that now we attach two or documents we could of course attach as many as we want however let's try to um, think that uh, we got this uh, mail uh, this uh, folder with uh, files and we need to send one mail for each of these files with the attachment of these files so how can we do that first we need to know uh, we need to get all these mails um, in this folder so um, let's go to UiPath so we need an assign of some kind. I'll drag it in here. And uh, what we need here is that we need to uh, to our AR files, our array of strings. Then we will need to uh, get those files with the following .net command, directory, get files, and then we need to specify our folder path in parentheses. And we just created it here. So that will be the str up at control space will get you the intelligence like this, and now we are stored it into this variable. However, we won't, uh, we, we are not using it right now. So um, we could uh, just write, let me just delete this. We will add a send out a message after. And then we can, um, we could just uh, write out the uh, file names. And what we'll do here is that we'll have a for each, like this. That will be the for each item or we can change this to mail, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can choose whatever name you want here. And then in array of files, and we want to just, let's say that we just want to write out a line um, in where we write out the, um, the uh, file path, and that will just be the mail to string. Let's see how that works, because this one is the one that we'll need here. Let's go to output and we can see that now we've written out all the file names. So we can now start to attach these files because now we got them here. So we could also have a um, say that we want to uh, write out just uh, the file name. And um, what we'll do here is that let me just uh, create one more line so you can see it. And what we'll do here is to this, this one will just to be to make our mail a bit more sexy if you like. So then the path get file name, and um, then we will just have the uh, item uh, to string here. S uh, sorry, mail to string of course, uh, like this. And uh, now we can run it. You can see how that looks. It runs, and in the output we can see that we wrote out the uh, the full folder path like before, and then we also uh, wrote out just the file name. So we will use that. Um, so let's work on. Now we need uh, to send the message with uh, the attachments. So uh, we will choose a send Outlook message, mail message again. Just drag it in over here. It's still in these for each. And uh, over here we need to specify the account, or we can do if we got more. And um, so that will just be our str mail name here. We specified this. Uh, the other things we will uh, just specify over here. So two, that will just be we will send a mail to ourselves again. The subject, well, that could just be we could it be whenever you want mail with, and then we will use this uh, mail with, and then with the file name. So you remember the one we found up here. So let's copy this one and then down here plus. And uh, so now we created the subject. The body that could just also be uh, this is from your robot. Like this. And then we will attach uh, files here. We will create a new argument. And here we will have the mail to string like this. And um, so what this does, it write out the path and the file name. So this one will just attach a file and we'll do that for each of these files. So we'll send a mail, mail with each of uh, these uh, attachments. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six mails. Let's try that out. Run it. 
So now we look through all the files and send a mail for each uh, file and attach them here. So let me we can see here that it worked. We got all these new mails with each of the files here. So that works. We could, uh, of course, have all sorts of um, different filters. Say that we only wanted the um, we only wanted, like, say, uh, documents, DOCX endings. So that will we'll just uh, only be getting those files up here. So click the uh, value here. Then uh, where we get the files, we'll choose comma. And then we can uh, specify a search pattern. So in quotation marks, we'll have an asterisk. And then we will, uh, uh, sorry, we will just uh, be adding a dot and then a DOCX like this. So this one will search for all uh, the files with uh, this DO, DOCX ending. Let's see how that works. So now we will only send two mails because there are only two uh, Outlook documents here. You can see there were, there were one and there should be one here. So this one sent the first uh, Word document and this one the second. That's quite clever, isn't it? So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed it much, you can subscribe to the channel or even like the video. With that said, have a good day.